Hi friends, it's David Fricaro, Executive Director of Faith Action International House, uh, the big white house right across the street from you all at Faith Action. Uh, I was asked by some of your congregants to talk a little bit about um, my and our hopes and dreams for Greensboro and how the faith community and you all at uh, First Presbyterian can help. Um, and you know, a, uh, a board member recently said um, and, and made it simple and plain that a big part of our hope and dream at, at Faith Action uh, is to uh, bring about a world where there are no strangers, uh, only neighbors. And, and that was simple and beautiful and, and eloquent um, and is not always easy to actually put into practice. So some of the ways that you all can uh, help at Faith Action um, help us create that world is, is number one, doing some of your own internal work, your own education, uh, deepening your perspectives and challenging any, any stereotypes you might have about, uh, about immigrants. There's so much misinformation out there. Uh, we'd be more than happy to come and do some education, uh, help you take off your political hat on this issue, put on your faith hat. Um, God knows we are called to welcome the stranger in our midst, to love our neighbor as ourselves, understanding that our neighbor is not just people that look like us or that are of the same culture or faith or nationality, but all of God's children. Uh, we also uh, would love to put you in touch with some of your newest neighbors. Uh, perhaps it's another immigrant congregation, so you all can come together and you can eat, laugh, sing, cry, dance, do what God hoped uh, God's um, children would, would do together, just to be human together, to build that friendship. Um, and and the, the next way that I think you all could help is to put your faith into action. That's part of why we're called Faith Action. And there are numerous needs that a lot of our newest neighbors have. Uh, direct help with food, um, diapers, uh, hygiene items. Uh, last year we provided over $100,000 in help to uh, folks uh, suffering from the pandemic that needed help with rent and bills. And we're planning to keep that up. Uh, this year well until the end of the year and, and you can certainly help make some of those direct uh, payments. Um, you can um, go and visit our detained neighbors. We're called to visit those in prison. Uh, a lot of our um, clients have experienced detention have been sent eight hours south to a massive and notorious detention facility in southern Georgia. Uh, when it's safe to do so again we actually just got a new van. Come with us to go and visit our neighbors. Even though you'll only be with them for 30 minutes behind a bulletproof glass you can let them know that they're not alone, that they may be out of sight, but they're not out of mind, and that you're gonna do all you can to help them and their families back in Greensboro as much as possible through this difficult time. Um, and if through this process you've had your heart and, and your mind change through that education, through these relationships, through putting your faith into action uh, out of love for your newest neighbors, tell that story. Um, let your neighbors know, let your family know, let your friends know, write an editorial in the newspaper that your heart and mind has been changed around this issue. Um, and that if you ever hear any kind of discrimination or hate towards our newest neighbors, you will stand up and speak out and say, I'm not all right with that and you shouldn't be either. Um, and do that from the deepest place of your heart. Love your neighbor as yourself boldly. Um, and we can certainly create that, that world where there are no strangers, only neighbors together. So thanks, friends. We love the house um, and are grateful for your kindness and support.